I remember getting a call from a surgeon. Can you come to my office? And he tells me, you have colon cancer. It was devastating. We just were fresh off my challenge. I get home after three months in the hospital. And during those three months, my mother didn't miss a day in the hospital with me being there, taking care of me, making sure everything's OK. Like a month later, in like November time, she was starting to have symptoms. I was in bed. My sister comes up and like, yes, I have to tell you something. I was like, oh, I remember turning over and slapping the wall. I was like, oh no, not again. Our youngest child was diagnosed with a uh, Shvera Machla. Things very rapidly went downhill. It started spreading, and no, no matter what we did, I had gotten used to the whole not having hair thing, not having beard. When I lost my eyebrows, that was hard. When a person doesn't have eyebrows, they're faceless. They're just a blank piece of paper. It's not enough that you get a diagnosis of cancer. I mean, that your world is crumbling. You, you, you should never know personally. But then to have to deal with insurance issues. And if I tell you, I was on the phone with RCCS at 1030 in the night, at night. No one missed a beat. There's no exaggeration. I had all my insurance issues wrapped up, you know, in days. They helped us navigate a second opinion. They pushed us to take the second opinion. These people aren't just caring about the business end. They're caring about me as a person. A 10 ton boulder on your head and they're like just, even though they can't, let's say, remove it from you, but they can at least, you know, alleviate some of the burden. Everyone has to support them. Everyone that God forbid is in the same situation that I was in, has to be able to turn to them and know that they can rely on them. Knowing that on your speed dial, you can call a Chevy Kraus or anyone in the organization, depending on what your area is, it takes away that portion out of the equation and you know you can concentrate on your doctor's appointments, on healing, no less than priceless. It's not an organization, it's family helping family. 